this is a video that has been inspired by um, Kevin Rose from um, his Insiders Club meeting that we had at the fantastic Fallowfields Hotel on uh, Tuesday the 21st of June 2011. One of the things that Kevin was talking about was um, the patient plan, the patient journey and what he was discussing was sales funnel management and during that meeting I mentioned that there was a system that I use for managing it in my business and I just wanted just to show you very briefly the power of doing it because I think this is one area um, of business management that dentists are particularly poor at certainly in my experience so my experience as an online marketer my my job is to make the phone ring make the email go get the inquiries coming into the practice but often what happens after that point is that the practice don't pick up with those leads and run with them so I want to show you here uh, a very simple technique that I use using Sage Act so this is a Sage Act software and all I've done is I've set up some uh, fake patients in there so we've got a uh, couple of uh, patients in here already set up ready to go I want to show you just um, what would happen uh, when a patient phones up at the practice the first thing we do is we would click on new patient name um, and I'll give this patient uh, David blogs that's going to be the patient's name and you can put all of his details in and there's a huge amount that we can do with Sage Act but I just want to show you this sales funnel management and how important it is and why you need to be doing this for your business so a patient phones up at the practice as a result of some marketing activity that you've done you can put where they saw you you can enter all your marketing activities in here so you can track it all but I want to show you this funnel management we then set up a new opportunity. So let's say this patient phones up in response to an Invisalign uh, campaign that you've been doing. So we can click on new um, um, new opportunity, and we have a um, the dentist conversion process. It's the process that I've put in here already, and I've decided, as we did at Kevin Rose, that we've got four stages to this process. So the first stage in the process is we have an email inquiry or a phone call at the practice. The next stage is that we have a new patient assessment. The next stage is that we have uh, take the patient through to a treatment plan. Then we may call the patient back in for a treatment plan review. And then finally, we'll go through to having the um, final treatment. But if I just show you here in the settings, what we do is we give a probability of conversion to the full treatment as a percentage. And it's only over time that you'll be able to work out those percentages. But I've taken this as a, as a guess for now. But what you'd need to do is to track these percentages and see the number of patients, the percentage of patients that came in just on an uh, it's like they just inquired via email or phone how many converted to actual patients and you can work out these exact percentages so what we do is we um, we've got that patient in there and we've set up a new opportunity we've said that he's made an email um, inquiry so then I'm going to add a product and we said this was to do with Invisalign so I've put Invisalign in there and I've put in the um, price of Invisalign and I'm going to click OK. So now you can see up here what the, what the system will do is I've given Invisalign a price of three and a half thousand pounds. The system knows that we've got a 30% chance of conversion when we're at the initial phone call email inquiry so it gives us a weighted total. So that phone call that patient at that time was worth £1,050. So we'll save that and I'll move on to another one. So we'll go to contact. Let's say we have another phone call come in. This time it's going to come in from uh, Francis Bailey. That's going to give this patient name. We're going to say it's a new opportunity. And it's a new opportunity to do what? So we'll add a product. And this time I'm going to say, well, Perhaps it's not implants or veneers or something particular, but we might say if you look at your turnover of the practice and the number of patients you've got, you may be able to work out an average value. So I can say, well, at this stage, I just know that this patient is an average value patient. So again, I've put an average value patient. The average um, value of each patient is 500 pounds. We've said it's initial inquiry and 
um, the weighted total is now 150 pounds and we can go on and on every single time the patient phones in we can add the specific product that they're inquiring about or just an average value so if I just call up my list view and let me say Francis Bailey so Francis Bailey comes back in and um, we then go from um, email inquiry and she then decides that she's going to have a new patient assessment so you can see a new patient assessment now changes the probability to 50% so I can change that and so on and so forth so let's say let's go back to my list of uh, patients uh, let's go back to my contacts list view sorry pull all of my contacts up and let's say this person here Bob Johns we can see that he has if we look at the here he has uh, made an email inquiry and he has decided this is an average patient value as well so let's say that we decided he goes right the way through to a treatment plan so it now puts a probability up to 70 percent uh, at uh, the average value of 500 pounds so you can see that we've got lots of patients in here and we've been doing this over and over and over and we've as, as all the patients have come in we've been tracking them through so when they move to the next stage from the previous stage all we do is we go into that patient and we change them on the opportunity but then what we can do is we can then start to call up dashboards so once I've done that I can now call up a dashboard and I can see I can take a pie chart and I can see that I've got at the initial stage 10,200 pounds worth of cases in my email initial inquiry stage 19 and a half thousand in new patient assessment and a thousand people a thousand pounds worth in my treatment plan stage and no one through at the final treatment plan review stage now when you start to allocate a value to the patients for their inquiries that's when your um, um, marketing becomes very very focused because you can actually start to see these um, values and the amount of money that you have sitting in people that all they've done is made an email inquiry or a phone call and often what happens is that these people they just sit on a piece of paper a scrap of paper post-it notes so overall what have I got there you know we've got 40,000 pounds worth th 31,000 pounds worth of business sitting there on post-it notes at the practice um, we can then pull out um, further reports from there so I can pull out a full um, opportunity reports um, I can pull out opportunity graphs we can have a look at exactly the graphs and see exactly where people are in any stage of the process uh, if I pull out um, an opportunities report from here um, we can have adjusted by probability we can pull out full um, pipeline reports and we can see exactly what is happening with each patient um, I'm sorry that's the report I've already called up and we can see exactly what patient is at what particular stage and exactly what's happening and what is going on so it's a very very powerful way of managing your business and um, getting people and moving them along to the next stage in the process so you can see here um, it gives us exactly the the person the process that they're at the percentage probability of the converting the weighted total and the grand total so so you can see here I've got the the total amount here total for the status is 30,700 pounds weighted is 13,510 so I've got 30,000 pounds worth potentially of business there in total that I need to get pursuing and need to get working on with these patients to get them through to the next stage so that's just an example there of something that you can do using Sage Act um, it's not an expensive piece of software um, but as soon as, as I say as soon as you start to allocate a value to these patients um, I think your post-it notes uh, might change into a little piece of software Hope you find that useful. Cheers. Bye.